Hey guys, we're gonna have a look at the Vast truck collection here. Uh, Mac, we're looking through the cellophane wrapper stuff, protective coating, so I don't know how clear they'll be. I don't have a lot to say, so pictures are worth a thousand words, so I'm going to keep one picture out of it then that way. So. Until I see something that I have to comment on. Oh, and I see something I have to comment on. They had a couple of these as Cast Brothers. When I say I drove a Mac with a 237 and a five speed, six speed, which is two sticks that hauled a low bed mixer, that was the company. And I don't know if that's not the truck, but that's the exact identical setup, short wheelbase I cut my teeth on. That picture just looks a little newer. We bought ours in like 1985 or something. I think we'd be $12,000 for it then. Not the most beautiful highway trucks that they came up with. Oh, there's an F700 in the back. Made by Hayes and had the Hayes and the Mac names on them. And the Big Macs, I think those are called the CL350s. The B-Mac. Dad was always fond of those trucks. He drove them back when, in the late 60s. That one was a common sight on the roads around here up till, oh man, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. The owner had passed.
I like trucks and equipment as much as the next guy, even more. And, but my buddy here with this collection is just almost in a different realm. There is so many of these, like, just about every truck ever built or photographed or posted ended up in his pile here. That says co-pilot on it. I haven't seen those trucks for years. So. Well, so does that one. They had quite a few. These were a good looking one there. A little bit of the traditional line still in the doors. That one's not pretty. That seems like 1992, three, four era. They're kind of reinventing themselves. Same with that one there. The cabs had stayed the same as the 600s. blue seats that would have been in our uh, BC place it's called stadium if you're old enough you went to the GM Motorsport Spectaculars in the 80s there and watched them do monster trucks mud racing Mixer. So. There's CL 350, Macmillan Bloedel, probably the greatest timber company to ever grace the earth. Got pretty much destroyed, long gone now for at least 20 years. That's a lot of Max. Starting to all look like Max. That's a long, long box. Would never see that around here. Wonder if that's Seattle or something. They used to have a dome like that. I don't know if that was that King Dome, but no idea. Or probably not, because they would have 14 drop axles in this area here. That wouldn't be allowed.
Yeah, the best part of British Columbia, all this stuff here, is the stuff you'll never see. Because it's hiding up in inlets. And... Out on f faraway places, barged in up the coast. flat mac Oh, those teeth things used to see those here 15 20 yeah 15 years ago it seemed like every second truck even some of the self-loading log ones had them on there in the BC Place Stadium in Vancouver. Cat 426 in the back, oh, 416 in the background. All right, good old Bantam, 266 or 366. Oh, there's a creation. A lot of work put in that. 